Welcome to Reverse Engineering News. I'm your host, Hash. And artificial intelligence can't throw a card like me. Now I saw yet another case of artificial intelligence taking our jobs. The holy grail of binary reverse engineering is to be able to go ask an AI, hey, how does this work? Reverse engineer this thing for me, crack it for me. And it would just do it. Someone <gasps> taught GPT how to use radar. They wrote a small script called R2D2, which has a whole prompt written and feeds all the information needed so the GPT basically assumes that it understands how to reverse engineer. And then you can feed it a, a crack me and just ask it to solve it. So now that you're all out job hunting because the impending doom is coming, let me give you a bit of a reality check. Uh, you know, the R2-D2 script is fun, but it's not free. You need API credits to access it. So even if you have a ChatGPT subscription, the 20 bucks a month that you pay, that's not the same thing. There's a different API thing you have to pay for. And I paid for it and I got maybe 30 minutes or so use for $5 based on just asking some questions of this script. I had to ask multiple times to get, uh, you know, the correct information out from this crack me that I fed in. So the crack me I fed in had a split date. So basically I had to enter a date in, I think it was July 10th, 1997. But in the crack me, they broke that date into two spots so that it would be harder for you to figure out. It's still a very basic crack me as part of some little training course I did online, but not one time did the GPT figure that out. Every single time it gave me the wrong date. And then I would tell it, hey, that didn't work. And then it would look again and it's like, oh yeah, my bad. Actually it's this. And so all these interactions back and forth meant that basically I chewed through my five bucks in half an hour. All that is to say, uh, there's no job risk. If you reverse engineer stuff, trust me, this thing's a long, long way off. It's like when I was a kid and I used to read about artificial intelligence in books and it was almost, you know, it's right around the corner. Robots are gonna just be taking over and controlling and doing everything and flying cars are coming and everything else. This stuff apparently is really, really far down the road and it always feels like you're almost there. But for the uninformed, if you're trying to learn reverse engineering, you're better off just going the normal route and learning about all this stuff. You know, these AI tools, while they can be helpful, they're, I, I feel like it's almost a waste of time to just go down that road and invest all your effort there. Because in the end, you're not really getting smarter. You're just getting better at asking a, a kind of a tool questions. And that's not going to help you in the long run. Now, if you're interested in seeing data created by humans, head over to the Richesson Wiki. All the pages there were edited by actual humans who I verified using actual human techniques. Like and subscribe, share this video with other like-minded humans, and join the Discord. There are no bots in the Discord who chat with you. It's all people. Thanks to all the patrons for being a part of Richesum and Reverse Engineering News, and not a part of the impending AI takeover doom. Now I'll leave you with a quote, and I'll see you next week.